great war of science here in South Canada. And there they go, along with our triplane. That was made famous, of course, by the infamous Jacob Barron. Well, my name is Jonathan Straw, and I'm a director of the Great War Flying Museum, and we are situated outside of Toronto at the Brampton Flying Club. This is one of our most recently completed projects. It's a Fokker D7, done in the markings of uh, Oberleutnant Rudolf Berthold, who is the sixth winner of the Pour la Merit, or better known as the Blue Max. We chose this color because originally this aircraft was done in an all-white paint scheme and we found that it just didn't stand out when it was at air shows. And most of the air shows are for the benefit of people to see from the ground. So as you can see from the underneath, you can't miss it now. Now a lot of people kind of figured that this might be a little bit, a bit outlandish, but actually the Germans were experimenting with a dazzle type of camouflage. Dazzle camouflage meant that they were supposed to throw the gunner's aim off by repeating geometric color patterns so that he would actually lose the definition of the shape. The German factories at the time printed this pattern right onto the fabric. So this pattern, as you would see it, would be on all surfaces of the aircraft. But pilots being the way they were, when they wanted to make sure that uh, they could be easily recognized in the air, this particular squadron, which is Yasta 15, went with red nose and a blue body. Yeah, I just had a great 